Okay guys, Gino's Gadgets here. So today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Jam Ultra. Uh, these are the Jam Ultra, these are true wireless. Um, uh, if you guys follow the channel, um, I did an unboxing and review of another pair of true wireless earbuds, um, the Sound Move. Um, true wireless headphones so uh, true wireless means basically completely wireless there's two earbuds and that's all that goes in your ears no string or wire that connects the two no uh, headband or anything like that just completely two earbuds one in one ear one in the other so let's go ahead and take a take a look at these so I want to jump right into the unboxing of these Jam Ultra True Wireless Earbuds. Um, so the model number of these guys is HXEP900. Um, and it says BK because uh, these are black. So um, I guess they may come in a different color. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> I have, and I don't always do this when I'm unboxing or reviewing something, but I did read some reviews um, and watch some reviews on these and they got pretty good marks. I mean, from what I've seen written about them and um, what I've seen as far as like video reviews of them online. So um, good enough marks to where I was, you know, willing to actually go out and spend my money and uh, uh, grab a pair. So, um, and apparently uh, these, earbuds uh, they received an award it says they got the red dot award uh, this is a red dot award winner uh, for 2016 I don't know if you can see that right there but that little apparently that's something that happens in the tech industry uh, and I know at CES and some other uh, technology events tech shows and things like that CTIA different things like that they will give um, awards for you know companies that are executing certain technologies like this um uh ex executing them well so uh some true wireless if you guys aren't familiar with that term truly wireless earbuds are earbuds where that's all it is it's literally just one bud that goes in your ear and another bud that goes in the other ear there's no wire that connects from one to the other there's no armband there's no neck band um like my daily drivers right now uh not to steal the show <clears throat> but are the level u flexes these are my level u flexes these are my daily drivers that i use pretty much day in day out because they're flexible don't want to make this video about them but you know they're earbuds but they're connected to this thing you know so that you put these in your ears and this is what you listen to, but they're connected to all this. With this, it's just all it is is literally the earbud. It's just the bud, bud only. <laughs> no, you know, without all this. So cover up all this and just the bud, just the earbuds. So anyway, <clears throat> so um, the challenge with going from something like this to go into something that's completely wireless like these guys. Um, a lot of things, but the main thing is battery life. It's like, yeah, it's ultra, ultra cool that, that this is all you have. This is all you have to keep up with. And they come with this handy dandy charging case. So that's awesome. But the pain point for these things, at least so far in the first year or so that this technology has been available, uh, because it's in its infancy, um, it's just getting a battery that you know has enough uh, milliamp hours that has enough juice to to power these things for a substantial enough time. So that's what I'm taking a look at in this review, guys. Uh, I'm gonna unbox them. We're gonna take a look at how they look and how they feel because that is important as well. But the main thing that I'm concerned about is just uh, if they get the battery life part right. So these guys claim to get three hours of battery life and in some reviews and some reports, I'm getting four hours of battery life. So if they're getting between three and four hours of battery life, 
they're going to be my hero, especially for this this price point. Um, and you can see on the back, it says um, the three hours of um, playback time. So that's talking on the phone, that's listening to music, what have you, YouTube videos. Um, and I will be looking to, to see if they lag um, when you're watching a YouTube video. Are you getting the whole Kung Fu Theater effect to where, you know, uh, the person's talking and then like, a half second or a second later you see their mouth move and then you hear the words so I'm gonna be looking for that to um, hands-free calling charging um, and sweat resistance so these actually have a coating on them that makes them sweat resistant so if you're working out and running in them um, it's not gonna ruin them so yeah um, so yeah let's check them out so yeah I know I joke about it on some of my videos guys but I am totally going to get a cool unboxing knife one of these days. Now watch all these other reviewers, man, and they have these cool unboxing knives. And I'm like, man, I want one of those when I grow up. So, yeah. Okay. Think about it. Yeah. All right, so let's pull these out and see what comes inside. Oh, there we go. So right off the bat, um, this is a pretty, this is like a hard plastic or something. Uh, but so yeah, right off the bat, you have the earbuds here. And I'm going to get closer so we can see what all we got here. Okay, so you can see the carrying case here. It's got kind of a nice pattern, kind of a grippy um, pattern to it. Trying to adjust my light a little bit here. But yeah, it's kind of a cool grippy pattern to it. It's kind of textured. So that's kind of cool. And then the earbuds themselves have that same kind of texture to them. Um, so yeah, let's let's pull these out. Mm, I don't know if they're like glued in there somehow. Or... Oh, there we go. They're just squeezed in there. All right, so pull, pull the earbuds out. All right, so this is the right and this is the left. So right and left. So there's the earbuds right there. And then we'll pull in carrying case slash charging case. So you got the charging case slash carrying case. You got like a little booklet. And safety information. Um, and that's going to be in anything with a lithium ion battery. So that's pretty common. But yeah, just a little booklet. And I'll probably file this away and look at it later. But um, at how to pair them. But yeah, so a little bit closer look at the earbuds. You can see there are quite small. Um, they they do have good heft to them. They have a decent weight to them, but they are very small. But they do, they look and feel of substantial quality um, as far as compared to the other earbuds that I've, you know, dealt with. Uh, and you have your pairing button there. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's actually pretty tactile, clicky. So yeah, so right and left there. Oh, and I think I just turned it on. I don't know if I, I didn't really mean to do that, but it started blinking. So um, <clears throat> anyway, then you have your carrying case slash charging case. And you can see there's a full size USB there to charge it with. And um, when you're charging them, uh, you also... Uh, use that but it looks like you have this as well to be able to ch charge and apparently you can charge a cell phone so that's kind of, actually kind of cool so you have the micro USB to actually charge this box and charge the earbuds but then if you just need some you know a quick juice up on your phone or something like that you can actually use this as kind of a, a juice pack or kind of a battery pack for to uh, charge your phone or tablet on the go so that's kind of cool you got a full-size USB there so that, that's pretty slick. That's a cool detail. And it's covered by this kind of rubber flap. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like 
little rubber flap that comes in. So yeah, <clears throat> so you slide this right out and this is what exposes the earbuds. And then you just fit them down in there, right, left. And it's kind of magnetic because they just pop right down in there. It's actually kind of cool. Um, now, I think I might have put them in there backwards. Um, I don't know if it really matters, but we'll see. So I got them both in there. And then it closes. Okay, and so I do see a blue indicator light here. So... I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little blue light right there um, that I see. And if you pull the flat back, you can see it even more. That little blue light. So I think that blue light is what tells us that, hey, look, they're charging. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure these things are charged up and ready to go. So also inside, guys, you do have your accessories here. The um, charging cord. Wow, that's really short, but I guess that's all you need. That thing's about, I don't know, it's less than a foot. Usually when you get a car, charging cord, it's a little longer, but not a big deal. Probably won't even use that one. And you've got some other earbuds here. Um, so it looks like you got couple different sizes of the ear ear gels because everybody has different size ears so yeah so we're gonna charge these bad boys up and check out how they perform okay guys so we have the jam ultra wireless headphones all uh, charged up and ready to go so now we're gonna pair them up turn them this way so you can see the pairing process. Uh, I mean, it should be pretty straightforward on your device. Um, yeah, there's not like an app that corresponds with these earbuds. Um, so I'm going to pull them out. So I'm going to pull the earbuds out and then go to my Bluetooth settings and make sure that they are turned on okay that's them right there it says pairing mm -hmm. okay well the light blinked it blinked for a minute let's see says pairing see the little blue lights lights are blinking okay now it says we're connected all right so it does say connected um, here so we'll take a look at those now and uh, maybe listen to some suit some tunes and see how they sound um, I'm gonna take them out of my ear so you can see them a little bit closer so, guys, I have been listening to these things um, on and off for the last two or three hours. Um, and, guys, I have to say, I mean, they're a win for me as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, if you look at, and these are the things that I'm considering. If you look at the price point of these things. So, um, they retail for $99. Um, but I got them... Uh, for $69.99 on Best Buy. I'm already feeling some type of way a little bit because um, I'm always shopping online and, and, and looking at the best deals. And I went on Target.com and they've got them for $59.99. So I'll probably, um, you know, get my money back or just whatever. Um, but I have to say, guys, they are as advertised because they're advertising... Uh, three hours of battery life and I've been on them for almost three hours already um, listening to music uh, I had to take a couple phone calls I had a conference call actually um, and so I've been on them and 
So they're as advertised as far as I'm concerned. And so you have pretty good connectivity too. So it's Bluetooth 4.1. Um, um, now I haven't been sweating in them and I don't plan on sweating in these. And I'll explain why. <clears throat> when I put them in my ear, now everybody has different, you know, ears. And um, so, you know, it's gonna fit differently. But I don't know if you can see here. Um, it, it's not the most snug fit. It just doesn't feel really secure. Like I can, you know, see, it just fell out. <laughs> but like I can just, you know, jump around and run and stuff like that. I, I don't know if that's what these are for, at least not for me. Now, there are some different size earbuds. Um, <clears throat> there was one size that was a little bit smaller than these. So maybe I'll go down one one size, you know, maybe they'll fit in there a little bit better to where I feel like it's a little bit, you know, more of a snug, secure fit. Um, but I didn't really feel all that confident like I could bounce around in these and them not fall out of my ears. Um, so um, that's still, I'm going to put that on the back burner and say kind of to be continued. I'll have to try them in some different usage cases. Um, but as far as listening to these things and being on phone calls and things like that, uh, I didn't have any problem with the phone call that I was on, actually two phone calls that I had to take. And the music, guys, the sound of music in these things is actually surprisingly good. Um, I mean, like I said, I've had two other pair of truly wireless earbuds, and I kind of felt like it was like Treble City. These actually have some bass to them. And let me point out something else that I really liked about these. Um, you can get up to, is it eight or 10 times charging? So yeah, you can get 10 times this little box that charges them. You know, you put them in here and they just snap right in. But they snap right in there, guys, um, and they pair. So like, as soon as you pull them out, if your Bluetooth is on on your phone, I mean, they're gonna come up paired automatically. Um, and so it's it's nothing to it to pair it. Now, the first time I was pushing the buttons and there was just no need. Um, you know, so after you pair them the first time, it's just like you pull them out and just pop them right in and they're automatically paired. That is beautiful because people don't wanna play around with their Bluetooth settings a lot. And um, I like the fact that this charging case charges them up to 10 different times you know now so i hear some people saying they're only getting eight times charge but that's a lot and the fact that this case you know not only charges the earbuds themselves but actually kind of doubles as a you know juice pack for your phone um so if you have like a for instance you know you can take this guy here uh, and if you have a phone you know, you can take and plug this in here. So plug that in there and then take the other end, this micro USB or whatever your phone charger is, USB type C or whatever, and then just take and plug it into the phone. Um, and so I think that's actually really, you know, kind of clever of them to have that dual usage um, type scenario that can actually help people out so people that own these not only do you have a little handy dandy carrying case that's you know you can fit this in your pocket i mean it's not that big of a deal you just stick it right in your pocket i mean it's, it's it's not that big to where it can't fit in your pocket so you you know they can be sitting there charging in your pocket um and so like i said i've already gotten a little over three hours i'll probably say about three three hours and 15 minutes and they're still not dead yet so that's a good sign. So this is the breakdown, guys. If you're getting three to four hours of battery life with these things and they're under a $100 price point and they sound good and they're truly wireless earbuds that actually have bass, now the volume is excellent. You got volume for days from these things. But I did notice when I got... I'd say probably to that, uh, there's a decent sound deck in here. It's not like to the level of like an LG V20 or something like that, but it's a pretty decent deck. So it can push a good amount of volume. Um, 
I would imagine on cer certain phones that have a really strong sound DAC um, that the sound will get a little bit muddy if you start going too high in the volume. Plus, that's just not good for the old ears anyway to go get too loud in the volume. Uh, but guys, I do. I have to say, these are a win. I really like what this company is doing, guys. And this is this is what the tech industry needs. And thank God for Red Dot uh, for awarding them for their execution of this product because it's it's a tough one, guys. Getting all the components and everything to fit inside of something this small. Again, let me do a close up so you can see how dang small this thing is. Everything has to fit in here. All the transistors, the Wi-Fi, um, Bluetooth radios, everything, the, the charging components, the actual battery itself have to fit all inside of this little teeny tiny package. Look at that. That's a lot to ask. And so the fact that you have a company like Jam, um, that's a, you know, a smaller company, and I mean, they're not an Apple or a Samsung or even Sony. I mean, these are massive companies that this company is competing with. And what they've done with these earbuds, guys, you have to give them props. And so, I mean, this is one of the reasons why I went into this. I mean, I, I, I'm not a big outfit guys i'm not a you know i don't get paid to do this i don't make you know a lot of money doing reviews on on stuff you know i don't have enough views and enough followers you guys might be able to help me by that uh help me out with that by the way but um but i mean I, this is one of the reasons why i like doing stuff like this is to give you know the little guy in a way you know a little bit of props of saying hey guys good job i mean you you did something good here i mean because Again, I'm comparing these with like the first generation Samsung Icon X that originally had a price point of $200. Now you can get them for about $100, 100 to $150, but they're more expensive than these. They don't sound as good. Um, and uh, they are a little more comfortable than these in, in the ear. I do have to admit that. But for what these guys are doing for less than half the price, it, it's a score. So guys, I said all that to say that as far as I'm concerned here at Geno's Gadgets, the Jam Ultra Truly Wireless Earbuds are a 100% win. If you can find these, especially if you can find them on sale um, at Best Buy or Target or Walmart, get them. Because for the price point, you really can't beat them. If you're just looking for a good sounding truly wireless earbud um, that hits all the high points that really sounds good listening to music. You can make phone calls um, and you can get three plus hours of battery life for under a hundred dollars. Um, and they actually sound better than the Apple AirPods. They sound better than last year's Icon X. Um, they sound better than the Sound Move. Truly wireless uh, that I did an, um, did a review on earlier. Um, that they're checking a lot of boxes, so I'd say get them. They're a thumbs up, guys. Uh, so that's Gino's gadgets wrapping up for this review. Um, a lot more to come here in the near future. Uh, please give a thumbs up, guys. Give your feedback. Uh, I love it when you guys comment on. Um, these products and these reviews um, and comparing to other reviews that I've done on similar products uh, ask questions I'll try to answer those as quickly as possible and again thanks thumbs up Gino's gadgets and we'll see you in the next video